Hi! I wanted to lose some words about our new upcoming project on GameFound called Assault Sicily 43. This is now the second uh, huge box we have designed and um, goes about the Western Front and of course the landing operations in Sicily 43. So we decided after our first product Red Horizon 41 which covers the opening battles of uh, Barbarossa on a tactical level and it was a real success for us so we decided to keep our work on that system and start over with the second model Sicily 43. So, and today <laughs> I just uh, wanted to talk a bit about what is coming up there. I'm really sure some uh, some reviewers, we sent some pre-production samples out to get up some content and it will hopefully um, go online the next uh, days or weeks um, to support our um, game found funding raise um, to be able to realize our next big box. Yeah, so um, we did this game mostly Erich, uh, my, my best friend and of course a co-designer of Red Horizon and also now for Sicily for the three. So this is our still a hobby from us. So that's the reason why I'm <laughs> stayed up, uh, get up. I got up early uh, morning, uh, my family is still sleeping inside the house. I'm in my uh, small workshop here um, and this is our Assault Games headquarter. And um, yeah, it's a small hut and um, I have some kind of equipment here and yes. Um, so Erich and I talked uh, what we do uh, as next after Red Horizon and we decided to open up the Western Front. So, and we want to keep the development for both um, um, theaters. So uh, be sure we will also add content to the Eastern Front in future. So therefore we have some something in our mind we want to design. But let us focus on Sicily 43. It's again uh, a real affair of our heart to get up this box. So we play it uh, by ourselves I think Eric and I, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a, it, 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 for a long time we just play our game because we have a lot of time to spend for designing this and so it's a priority to play Assault system and it makes it still fun and um, yeah, um, this is, <laughs> I would say, I can say it's our passion, it is our passion to do this because we did this uh, uh, a long time in our school time we designed systems and uh, but uh, never brought some system uh, on the market um, but uh, with Red Horizon we started our first real um, publishing project that's also the reason why I have founded Assault Games yeah Sicily 43 is uh, is an immensely huge box and it's it has more content as of course Red Horizon, so we have uh, close to five kilo here inside this box, um, which means we have added some things. And let us talk about what we have added in this um, box. Um, newest thing is of course features like um, we added um, fortifications, uh, obstacles, so you can now uh, play with uh, trenches, with bunkers, pillboxes, uh, gun positions. Of course, you have uh, tank barricades, you have minefields now, um, which have uh, some, some, some interesting rule set. And um, you can, of course, um, have barbed wire. We have integrated this via a, a rule system called secondary and primary terrain. So we detailed the, the terrain rules a bit more because we think for a tactical combat system, players should have more options um, dealing with the terrain. But you can, of course, follow all these uh, changes. The rule set, the pre-production version is, uh, is currently online. You find it on our website, on Board Game Geek, or uh, on the GameFound page, you can download the rule set uh, 2.0. And um, then you can take a look what has changed to the 1.0 from Red Horizon. Of course, Erich and I are keen on keeping this system con uh, consistent, which means 
you can use the 2.0 rule set also with Red Horizon 41. And as it is, uh, for us it's important because players should be able to combine our systems and uh, because it is a tactic wargap system you can combine it. You can also uh, play now uh, the Soviets uh, landing uh, with troops uh, of 41 landing on Sicily before the three should also play out and should be well balanced then. Um, so you can uh, make a more or less fictional uh, games by yourself. So it's a, it's a system and we keep it as a system. Um, second thing we added to Assault Sicily was um, we had for Red Horizon we had this expansion for tactical air and artillery support and we decided to bring this all in one box to have it all together. Um, was important for us to integrate so you have now integrated the expansion for tactical air and artillery support. Um, we changed completely the chapter for close combat rules so we found it a bit fiddly and not so flowing like our dice system so we we had um, yeah, designed a new rule set for close combat you can of course try it out with Red Horizon just download the 2.0 rule set and then you can try it out it goes now more fast and um, quick and it's now it's action loaded close combat and just try it out it's a real real good rule set now we have for um us. yeah I, I want also to mention all the supporters out from Red Horizon, we got a lot of feedback on Board Game Geek or, or, or via email or, or, or talking to, to guys online. And we are very thankful to, to get all this feedback and um, be sure we have worked in a lot of this feedback. So with minor changes, um, smaller added rules, um, we changed some things with the indirect fire, with the spotting. Um, we changed, of course, um, the terra behavior of buildings. So buildings um, are only blocking if there are large buildings now. Um, and um, this is also an idea to focus more on urban combat. So for a tactical system, it's important to have uh, a little more detail in urban combat. So just take a look. Um, we changed there. We made it um, more interesting. We also added some hmm, more specific um, movement rules. So we added some things of height action. So units can now make a maneuvers like low crawl and using all the terrains they have to get cover. And therefore they are slower, but um, they are uh, harder to spot. And um, we added some things like an ambush order marker. So units can get into an ambush. Uh, giving them an, a bonus if they attack out of the ambush and unit and they're hard to get um, spotted. Yeah, um, together with the tactical air and artillery support we added um, the, the things like blast values. Now you can uh, use your uh, combat pile engineers for the US boys um, with explosive charges. They can prepare during the pop phase explosive charges and try to uh, get rid of a bunker or a building and uh, push uh, the, the enemy, enemies out with, with uh, yeah, exploding <laughs> such, such uh, satchels. Yeah. So we added these features into the new rule set. Yeah. That's some about the features. Ah, one important thing. Um, we, we added uh, a troop management or a troop status. Wrong. It's called status in the final version, troop status board, which gives uh, give us uh, um, the possibility during a game um, that troops have his own decision in kind of when they go into withdrawals and when they want to go, not want, forced to, to get routed or uh, in a surrender. Um, the background was Erich and I talked a lot about, um, yeah, uh, in, in Red Horizon, for example, or in, in other active war games, the players can, can fight till the end, till every troops are uh, yeah, eliminated or something like this. Mm, we wanted to give the troops some kind of um, own dynamic. So with the troop status board you will lock, lock all your loss 
and count up to some loss thresholds. And if you go over one, uh, uh, one, one, 12 points of loss, um, your troops pressure for all your troops on the battlefield is raising. Um, if you lose uh, an own objective by, uh, by capturing of the enemies, so if you lose an objective, then your pressure is raising. Um, you can decrease, of course, your pressure if you are gaining objectives and, uh, uh, and um, throwing out the enemy from a position, then you can uh, lower your pressure or some kind of special rules will allow to lower your pressure. And this uh, is an interesting feature now in Sicily <coughs> that gives um, your troops some kind of own dynamic. And um, it could be that you are forced to roll in the organization phase <coughs> and D6. And if you have a, a separate, separate <coughs> a result, it could be that your troops say, no, I do not want to fight more more, I go into this troop. So this gives an interesting um, feature uh, which could influence of course your game experience you know. so this is one on my uh, thing we, we added of course um, from the historic background ah or oh, let us talk about first what is inside the box again we now added also an inlay so we have an inlay for all the units in this box um, it is important for us to have a safe storage for your units you can transport the game easily and of course you get access to your units more quick because you see it and you can grab it out of the inlay. It was an important feature we want to have in uh, uh, and uh, give you as a player. Um, the, from the historic background, we focus here now on the, on the first two fighting days on the landing uh, uh, zone of the US troops uh, at Gela, which was an important uh, fishing or harbor town. And the US Ranger Forces, Starbreeze Force X, was landing there in the early morning of the 10th of July. And um, on the night before, the 9th, um, US airborne troops were landing uh, behind the landing zone and um, they got somehow scattered over the area. And uh, their aim was, or their objective was, to delay possible Italian and German counterattacks. Um, close by were stationed the uh, uh, Livorno division, which was a good quality Italian uh, formation, but less equipped with old tanks like Renault R35. Um, and um, yeah, about Italians, you can read uh, from, from left to right all extreme uh, opinions. Mostly, you read about um, cowards and uh, they are surrendered early. and. Uh, so on, but um, we, we think it's, an, it's a mix of, of several things. Italians, of course, um, were finished after losing the North African part of, of their <laughs> empire. And uh, the morale was, of course, a bit down, but they had still some good formations. And uh, some good formations were inside the Livorno division. Of course, they had uh, poorly equipped uh, soldiers, so they have, uh, have uh, had, had said Kakano rifle, which was a an, 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 an low caliber uh, rifle, um, was not an, a good um, penetration value from this. Uh, and Germans uh, were forced to help out with, with equipment sometimes and sent, of course, uh, weapons and, and so on. Uh, of course, tank tank weapons. Italian had uh, more or less some some good potential vehicles like the Momente, which was an, 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 an yeah, how you call it, reliable uh, vehicle. Um, but they have a lot of old stuff and of course weak, weak armored uh, vehicles. Um, so, from my personal thinking, I think there were no cowards in the first two days. Uh, at Gela, they fought fiercely, they marched into the stalemate of the uh, Allied chipborne RT and uh, the airstrikes. So, they did a, a good battle fight, and the Rangers had a heavy loss the first day landing at Gela. So, <clears throat> I think um, we cover these two days. Of course, behind in the front, a little far away from the northeast of Gela, there was stationed the Hermann Göring uh, Falschen Panzer uh, Division, uh, which was not an elite formation. They had a few good uh, uh, formations, companies, experienced, well experienced companies, but they had also a lot of. Um, 
shortly added formations which we are not good trained in cooperation uh, working together and combined arms so um, it was a, a mix, mixture of um, experienced uh, combat trained and um, and uh, of course newly poor added troops so they had some struggling in communication and uh, working together um, and of course the overall problem of the axis uh, uh, I, I read uh, was um, the communication between uh, Guzzoni which was the, the overall uh, leader of the uh, combat troops in Sicily an Italian commander and uh, they had uh, communication issues and trust was also a little bit a problem so it's an interesting mix of uh, background information and um, we tried to get uh, this uh, on the tactical level more or less that Italians are troops uh, which have a, a, a lot of infantry and a separate amount of uh, tanks of course. They are less experienced from the experience level. Um, they have uh, partly not the fighting will like a German formation, a Panzergrenadier. For example, the 15th Panzergrenadier Division was also at this area. Um, the Germans have, of course, superior firepower with their tanks. Yeah? So, Tiger tanks, uh, the 504's uh, um, heavy tank section was uh, with, uh, about 30 Tigers there. Uh, and um, on the second day, of course, the Germans will, will get into our campaign game with a counterattack, which was historical. Uh, first day was mostly fighting for the Italians at Gela. The Germans struggled with all the airborne troops behind, uh, marching on to Gela. And on the second day, they tried to push out uh, the US boys from the beachhead. So we covered this in our campaign, um, uh, Gela Beachhead, which is included. Uh, it's a campaign uh, you play over six battles on two days, and uh, you have to try to get uh, the objectives to win this campaign. Um, you can uh, get a result historically out of the campaign, which is um, which is, um, is a separate, um, which, is, which is possible to get a historical result, but also if you are playing very well as a German or as an Axis uh, player, together with Italians, you can of course uh, push uh, the US forces uh, away from the beachhead. It's possible it's hard but you can can get it and of course as an US uh, player or ally player you can uh, perform better as uh, in a historical way you can um, go uh, much quicker into the in country to for example the Ponte Olivo airfield which was a main target of Patton uh, to gain very very quick yeah some background stories about um, uh, our, our, our features here. Um, Gila Bicek campaign is a really, really, uh, I think it's again a level up to in comparison to Red Horizon uh, crossing Sinarev. Um, we did a lot of work in, in, in here. Um, you have uh, a, a really, a really cool choice to play it. You can also start a Grognard node. So if you want to, to, to um, lead your units really, um, to manage your units, um, you can play it in this real expert mode, we call it Grognard mode, uh, or you can play it with standard rules, which is less effort to plan your units and uh, write down some results of your units. Yeah, that is um, the main element of the box. Um, in total, um, the campaign book has over 100 pages. Uh, we have integrated, of course, the campaign and we have integrated individual scenarios. So in a summary, you have 40 different scenarios. And the main thing of uh, our um, technical system is, of course, you can uh, play this um, yeah, historical or fictional. So this means you can also switch the sides. So the Axis are invading Sicily and the uh, uh, Allies are defending. Um, and uh, yeah, how other reviewers like players I'd say or like um, a Gimpy Gamer or um, uh, Zilla Blitz says um, with our formation card system, so this, is this mechanic, you can of course uh, have an endless uh, replayability because um, you have always a different order of battle. Um, yeah, we, we keep and stick into this system because uh, we like it by ourselves. Yeah. 
the rulebook um, to get an entry for such kind of game uh, we try to keep it easy so you can choose um, playing with all the basic rules and leave off all the optional rules so you can get um, get out a lot of details when you start playing our tactical game um, it is easy to access we have a uh, completely customized uh, colored uh, dice system so we have um, really um, the idea to, for players to get an easy and then we want to speed up all the combat actions in the game. So you have your unique cards, you have your your information, what kind of dice and how much you take. You take your guys dice and roll it and um, then you have some kind of modifications regarding terrain, regarding line of sight and so on. And of course it re reduces the defenders, defense dice already ads so it's a really quick uh, to learn system and uh, you do not require to study tables and modifier lists which slows down every time the game uh, play so it is our focus to uh, stand for fast and action-packed paced uh, tactical games and I can say try it out support us yeah. uh, share our game found link which I put uh, into the video description um, to get this up. Um, for the game found, um, if you want to um, back us, just information, we add some kind of, um, we call it, I'm not sure now, <laughs> first landing wave, something like this, 24 hours, then you get a real good deal for this box. Uh, um, I think 30, 33% off, something like this. So keep in mind, 24 hours, the first 24 hours, all backers get a real good deal. Um, just uh, uh, for you to remember and to have the chance to gain this uh, deal. Um, try out, support our shared hobby. This is a war game made by war gamers, yeah, and a war game that tells stories, of course. So, I saw Sicily 43, next project on GameFound. I say thank you for listening. My talk, if you have questions, put it down in the comments, write an email, go on board game geek. And I really look forward to get this box up and running. Yes.